Now the new stuff is right here. Look at this. This is the... What are you guys doing over there? You took all my kayaks away? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna have problems, bro. Some of our floats. <laughs> Do an intro? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so you start. Just like this? Yeah. Hey, welcome to another amazing fishing with that. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Taking over my channel? Well, uh, seriously. <laughs> I mean, you go away for one second and he comes and takes over. That's right. I've, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I tried to do it at the trade show a few years back. and uh, I, I, I want to take over your YouTube channel. I want yeah. to be able to... But well, who are you anyways? Like, hey. I, I <laughs> my name's Ryan with Old Town Canoe. Old Town, no, no, it's um, Old Town Kayaks and Canoes. Canoes and Kayaks? Well, it's, uh, it's complicated. It's, I just say my name town. is Ryan with Old Town, a Johnson Outdoors watercraft business. Right, and uh, what are we doing here today in sunny, uh, not sunny anymore, South Florida? So uh, we uh, invited a handful of select media down to uh, give them the first look and first try of our f fully finished uh, Old Town Sportsman line. Um, and we got you out on the water. Uh, we got you uh, trying all the models. We got TJ from Yapak, right? Yep. We got um, Mark De La Rosa from uh, MDLR Fishing and RS. I'm gonna link all their channels somewhere in the description, somewhere around here. You'll find them. And uh, we went fishing yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we went fishing because there wasn't a lot of we catching. Went, we went boating. Right? We went boating. <laughs> we went. We took out uh, pretty much some of the best kayaks in the market right now yep are there like some of the or the best well you know okay let me wait wait so i mean if you take somebody from 10 years ago and you bring them to today and show them that kayak what do you what do you think they will say that they're going to be surprising and say that's a boat what do you think is going to happen like like if i take you 10 years ago and put you on the autopilot like what would be your reaction? It would be really hard to go back in time. Uh, the, that boat is amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I fully understand I'm biased, but I think you know too, that boat yeah. is so much fun to fish from and it makes fishing effortless. Like you don't have to worry about maneuvering or propelling yourself. Like it does all the work for you. Um, you know, you launch that boat, hit autopilot, cruise to your spot while rigging or answering emails or videoing. And then you get there and you hit the button and you spot lock and you fish your face off until you don't want to fish anymore and then you keep on going. I mean the boat propels you there and holds you there until you tell it to do otherwise. So I, yeah, I mean fishing, fishing out of a kayak 10 years ago was work. Yeah, now it's, now it's pure fishing. Pure fishing. And the best part is that you don't have to worry about any cabling or looking the right uh, motor for your kayak or who's gonna cut it apart and everything is done already fully integrated ready to go yep yep so we wanted to make a platform that was seamless and in easy and off the shelf you just source your own battery get in that thing and you're ready to go um, there's a lot of people that are doing diy projects to their kayaks to get them to do the same thing i mean they're they're buying their expensive uh, paddling kayak they're about going out and buying a GPS enabled bow mounted trolling motor for a bass boat and they're f trying to find a way to mount it on there in a clean way and it, to be honest I have never seen it done it's not clean in a clean way it's, it's a and so we uh, we anticipated this and have been working to develop this boat for uh, quite some time and the design is amazing I mean the stow and deploy uh, the wide open deck space the battery box being under your seat the plethora of space behind your uh, your seat for gear, um, the stability, the performance, the distinct difference between the 120 and the 136. I mean, if you look at the 136 hull, it's got a sharper entry and it's made to handle big water, whether you're fishing offshore, big lakes, um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an elegant fashion. So that, that boat's made to, to go take a pounding. And honestly, it takes all the work out of kayak fishing. Yeah. You, you you put that thing in the water and you that's exactly why you bought that boat is to maximize your fishing but you can still paddle if you want 
You yeah. can take your paddle out and paddle to your heart's content. We are, yeah, when we understand people like to fish really skinny, skinny waters. I mean, this thing, when you're max capacity, you're looking at a draft of 15 inches. Um, but let's say you want to get into water that's skinnier than that, and you're going to be in skinny water all day. Or if you just want to get out and paddle, this thing is uh, very, very easy to paddle, and we've included a floor plate in, in this model that allows you to cover that uh, console hole uh, for when you want to um, to paddle. All right, so the big question is, when is it going to be available? When can Johnny go and buy one? Yeah, hey, Johnny. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these boats, they're going to be available starting April 1st. So we're launching at the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, we're going to have a handful of uh, anglers that we recruited to fish out of our new autopilot, uh, as well as our 106 Power by Minn Kota and our new big water uh, PDL 132. They're going to be fishing the tournament in these boats uh, on March 5th. We'll have a, a, a booth at the expo, and you can you can actually place your order starting March 5th for these boats with select retailers, and they're going to start shipping April 1st. So you can get your hands on one as, as soon as early April if you get your order in fast. All right, so Ryan. Yes. Somebody told me that all this is happening because of you. You made it happen. <laughs> Right. No, that's not you, true. You saw the market and you go, you know what? We got all these components, right? We can make a killing fishing machine that everybody would love to have. Well, yes. Yes, you're right. Um, not all me. Uh, team effort um, at Old Town for the last two years, 18 months to two years, we've been working on a new line of kayaks called the Old Town Sportsman line. Uh, it's been a huge team lift. We're super thrilled and excited about what we have. It includes power, pedal, and power. Um, power, and it, pedal, and power. Power, pedal, and paddle. Yep, so power, pedal, and paddle. Seven models uh, within the, old, the new Old Town Sportsman line. Um, and it has a red thread that, that goes throughout the entire line. So all models have common features. You've got a premium seat. You have premium floor pads. You have at least one forward-facing rod holder. They come in two colors, ember camo and photic camo. And we also include a branded tackle box. So no matter uh, what model within the Old Town Sportsman line you, you purchase, you, can, you, you know that you're going to get that same common feature set. So uh, we wanted to make it super easy for uh, customers to shop our brand and to understand um, you know, the feature and price ladder as you move from our paddle models all the way up through our power models. So we um, don't do anything by uh, mistake. We invest a ton in consumer research and understanding uh, what you guys, what anglers want, um, not only what, you know, t talking about features within the boat, um, but also like what colors, what to name it, everything. We, we test everything. And so the last 18 months, it's been a lot of testing, retesting, going back to the drawing board, working with consumer groups, focus groups, YouTubers. Um, famous people like me. Famous people like you. Am to, I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Great. To net out uh, what we have. So, yeah. Dude, you got, you talk too much. It's like four minutes and... <laughs> But oh, you, I, I just want to give you enough so you can edit. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. You can trim me off. You can, <clears throat> you can be like, hi, I'm Ryan. Goodbye. I'm just trying to make a joke and it's not, it's not working, Ryan. <laughs> the, the jokes are not working. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let me see. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay that was horrible. We're going to start all over again. <laughs> I'll do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, Old Town has invested a lot of years and money into marketing, like, you know, what a predator is. Even the Top Water series, right? Yeah. You guys invested a lot into it. And now pretty much all that is gone. No, no, no. That's actually a misnomer. So we are launching the Old Town Sportsman line, which borrows some of the hull designs within the Predator and Top Water series yeah. that we've launched. But the Top Water and Predator the, live the, on. Okay. The... The name is gone. That's what no, I no, 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 no. So the, you got your seven models within the Old Town Sportsman line, right? But we still will have the Predator series and the Topwater series outside of the Old Town Sportsman. Oh, line. okay. 
Okay, so you could still buy a Topwater 120PL? Correct, yep. You could walk into your local shop and still buy any of the Predator models, any of the Topwater models, um, in any of the colors that they come in. Um, we are we are also launching the Old Town Sportsman line and that borrows some of the hull designs that you find in the Predator line and the Topwater line. It uses the W hull, uses the performance hull on the Predator side, mm -hmm. um, and there are some new models in there as well. Um, and what we, we're doing is we wanted to uh, release a line that had common features that was easy for a consumer to shop or customer to shop. Um, and so that's where we netted out with the Old Town Sportsman line. And it gives you a few distinct differences over what a Predator pedal would be um, or what a Topwater 120 pedal or, or a Topwater 106 pedal would be. Uh, such as a seat, um, yep. being more like a tournament. Yeah, so um, with the Old Town uh, Sportsman line, uh, we, you know, with our premium power and pedal models, we had the tournament angler in mind with those. Uh, we brought in um, a lot of voices from the tournament scene to help um, tell us uh, what they demand. Um, so a lot of the des design elements, a lot of the layout uh, really comes from that elite high-end tournament angler uh, that is fishing in this thing um, 100 days plus a year um, that demands hands-free and really the craft that they're in is a tool for them to catch more fish. All right, so let's touch briefly on on the new salty and based on what you're saying, you're still gonna have the Malibu. Correct. Malibu. Yep. So uh, we have this awesome boat that lives within the ocean kayak line. That really, it's a sleeper. Um, it uh, hasn't gotten as much traction as our our 120 pedal or um, our uh, Predator pedal or our Top, top water, water 120 pedal, mm -hmm. but it is a it's a 12 foot boat. Um, we originally launched it as a recreational pedal, pedal kayak, but the design of that hull handles big water amazing. I mean, you can... It's the fastest boat yeah, on the fleet. It's, it uh, is so fast. And it, for those of, the, of you that know how fast the Predator pedal is, this, this one's is faster. Fast. Yeah, I, um, um, yeah, I lost once yeah. raising it. Yeah. I'm gonna link the video somewhere if I remember. So yeah, it is, it's, it's yeah. faster. It handles big water, current, everything um, amazing. And so what we did was we took the mold from that Ocean Kayak Malibu and we've, we're, we're updating it to be a fishing craft. So we're blowing out that stern tank well and squaring it off so you can fit coolers and, and uh, crates and uh, you have, a, it's a much more, um, it's got a lot more utility back there. We're adding a forward facing rod holder. We're adding the 18 inch accessory tracks and it still has that five-year warranty on a pedal drive and a lifetime haul warranty. Okay. As the Old Town Sportsman Salty uh, PDL120, that boat retails for $18.99, and it's going to give you an offshore boat or a boat that that handles big water uh, and current um, like a champ for an awesome price. Yeah, it's a crazy price, and it's super super fast. You can stand up and fish on that thing, no problem. Unless you're 300 pounds, right? Gotta... Yeah, so the max capacity in that salty PDL is 450 pounds. Yeah, but if you're like 350 and you stand up on that thing, it's gonna feel like, not... you should get the top water for that. Yeah, so yeah, the W hull on the, um, uh, the 120 pedal or the 106 pedal, or even the W hull on our uh, motorized models, the Autopilot and the 106 powered by Minn Kota, those use that, uh, that tunnel style pontoon style hull that it, that has that crazy primary stability that makes you feel like you're locked onto the water. The Malibu has a rounder hull and that's why it handles uh, big water and waves so well is because it's able to glide up and over uh, waves uh, very elegantly. And the sun just came out and it's killing me. I came prepared. Me too. <laughs> New look guys. Don't see my eyes, just see the other one. <laughs> The 106 top water and the 120. Now it's the Sportsman 120 PDL and 106 PDL. Uh, if you could like talk about what change yeah. between the two. Yep. Uh, so uh, as you all know, you've seen all of his videos probably on the uh, Old Town Top Waters and uh, Old Town Predators. We recently uh, launched our Top Water line uh, a couple years ago. 
uh, we have the 106 pedal came out first and then the 120 pedal came out later mm -hmm. um, we took that uh, design and uh, that platform sun is gone yes <laughs> we took that design um, and platform and brought it into the Old Town Sportsman line and we've made some distinct changes to uh, those boats uh, so that under the Old Town Sportsman line uh, they're just an improved experience for our anglers. We took a lot of feedback. We've made improvements, you know, on uh, our seat design. And so on, on the Old Town Sportsman line boats, you have a new premium seat that ex is exceptional. I mean, you sat in a seat yeah, all day. It, what was it like? I, I didn't notice until the end when somebody asked me. Right. So, so that means it's comfortable. Like right. it's not, I guess that's the main point, right? Like you don't even know you're right. sitting on a kayak seat because you're you're fine, you're comfortable. Yep, uh, we uh, added a premium seat uh, to what is uh, the uh, Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL, or PDL 120, and then the uh, Old Town Sportsman PDL 106. Um, those, those boats now have, within the Old Town Sportsman line, that premium seat. We also added um, premium floor pads mm -hmm. to those models as well. Um, if you're familiar with uh, those uh, those boats, as the, in the top water line, it has a thin, um, compact floor pad. Now has that cushy, premium floor kinda pad. Kind of like the one that you find on the bread. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And, and also the tank well is kind of like more. You have more space now. Yeah. So behind the seat, uh, we took out those little half steps uh, towards the back of the seat, um, mm -hmm. and and made the the stern tank well in the. Um, 120 and 106 pedal on the Old Town Sportsman line wider so you can fit more stuff and you can fit a tackle crate sideways rather than lengthways in, in the back. Um, and another key improvement um, is we are adding molded in uh, handles in the stern of that boat and taking away that offset. That offside. awful shifting yeah. to the side. Yeah. So handle. That, that, that <laughs> handle that was off to one side. We uh, took that off and now those boats are going to have nice, comfortable grab handles in the stern, um, which will make transporting these boats uh, all the better. And no power pole plate though. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they will, uh, they'll, they'll have a, a spot on the back there where you can mount your power, your, your um, uh, shallow water anchor, shallow, yeah. but it will not have the, uh, the inserts like what you find uh, on the um, big water PDL. Um, or the 106 power by Minn Kota or the autopilots. So you could definitely uh, put a hash in the rear and then do something to Absolutely. install yep. your shallow anchor. Yep. Okay, so you got the fancy autopilot, right? You just yep. press a button and you anchor down within five feet, mm -hmm. right? You, you get into that school of fish, hit that anchor and then you're there. Yep. And, and then you lose all the fish, like this guy. <laughs> but when I got on the 106 power by Minn Kota, like what six seven months ago, I thought oh, this is a letdown, guys. This is like what is this? I feel like I went from a car to a bike, but something clicked. Like everything just just worked. It was yeah. so intuitive. Is that how do you say that? Yeah, it's very intuitive. Intuitive. Or I like the way you say it though. Yeah, so it's, it's easy. I mean, you don't have with the iPilot, right? You have you want to do more, right? You want to stand up and click buttons and all the stuff. But with the um, power, uh, 106 power by Minn Kota, all you you control the boat with your feet, exactly. And you just set the speed and go. Like even a five year old could use it. Yep. Yeah, that was yeah exactly. So uh, that boat retails for twenty four ninety nine, and it's fully integrated. Uh, it's got a flush floor console and really the whole design element, everything about that boat, we wanted to make it as simple as possible to where your grandmother can get in it or uh, my you know, six-year-old can get in it and understand exactly how it functions. So you steer it with the foot brace um, rudder control, so your, your feet are steering the boat and you're controlling the forward and reverse thrust with a boat style throttle beside your seat. And it's, if you've ever driven a boat before, you know where that throttle is, you know exactly what to do, um, and it keeps your hands um, free for fishing. And the boat's only 10 and a half feet. Um, it has a max capacity of 400 pounds, and you just get in that thing, 
and you know exactly how to operate it. So we see that boat appealing to a broad array of um, sportsmen and women and anglers who just want a, a great, reliable, fully integrated boat. And honestly, many people within the kayak angling community are spending a lot more money to get their kayak to do exactly what that boat does. Yeah, I mean, you're a torquito or a base bait to any kayak, you're adding 200, 2,000 plus dollars. Right. And yep. this is just $2,500 and you have, everything is integrated, it's ready to go, you just put your own battery. Yep. And that's it, you're fishing. And it takes you like one second to get used to it. Yeah. It's, it's that simple. Right. Yeah. It's, and it's truly hands-free fishing, right? Because you, you have your legs doing the steering and then you have your hands to hopefully not lose that fish. Right. <laughs> we lost a lot of fish yesterday. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> I, I lost a big one. It felt like a big one. It's probably a tiny jack though. <laughs> right next to, I'm horrible with names. Your boss was her Sharon? Name? Right next to Sharon. See, I was trying to impress the big boss and I lost a fish right in front of her. <laughs> she caught a nice jack yesterday. Yeah. She got it really, anyways. Yeah. All right, so what are we missing? Autopilot? You talk autopilot? Autopilot? Yeah. All right. Are you talking about the, uh, let me see, Sportsman 5 horsepower autopilot? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got time? You I do. No, I, I just missed a call from Arnold. I'll, I'll call him back. We'll, no, nobody want to talk to Jason. I'm going to nail this. Dude, the, the guy got like, he sh he's a show up. He got like a 40 inch duck yesterday. Yeah. Like he's, yeah. he's a local. I'm a local too, but not that I think that he local. named that fish. He's caught that fish before, I'm sure, three times. I think he called him. Yeah. I said, hey, <laughs> what was it, 3.30? You're going to be here? Yeah. Show up. Meet me there. Meet me there. Put your that, game that, face that's on. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there is a reason why that when you go, you don't catch anything. But when these people go, yeah. somehow they find a fish. They're pets. They're pets. Yeah, they're, they're aquarium fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one boat that you're looking more towards to? Like, oh, so, well, to, like, like we've been talking about, the Old Town Sportsman line that's seven models. But the crown jewel of that lineup is the new Autopilot and it's hard not to smile when talking about it because it's super exciting. Um, you know, I mean, you've been on the ground floor. We've had you in a lot of early meetings on this boat. You knew it was coming. Um, it's like Christmas day now that we get to launch it because it's gonna, it's, it's gonna change the face of, of It's gonna change fishing. fishing. Yeah, so much like what Minn Kota did for the bass fishing community, about 10 years ago when they launched a, a, a trolling motor with spot lock. That's exactly what we're doing for kayak angling. We've launched a, a platform that has a fully integrated GPS Minn Kota motor built into it mm -hmm. with a wide open deck. Um, and it, it, it gives you that feeling of fishing from the bow of a bay boat or a bass boat. Um, and it's fully integrated. Uh, so you've got that spot lock technology when you're fishing current or fishing tidal. You just roll up on the spot, hit that button. And, and this is not just talk, we actually did it. Horrible weather, big wave, and the thing didn't move. Yeah. So we actually tested it. It's not, it's not we're just telling you, oh, it's gonna do this for you. And we haven't tested it, we did, right? Yeah. So. Yep, it's, uh, it's incredible for those that are watching that uh, fish, you know, rivers, uh, fish ocean. Um, fish big lakes, uh, you can, you, you know, this is a proven technology. Minn Kota, you know, has built a very strong business around their, their, their motors that have this technology. Killer boat for us, it, we had the tournament angler in mind when we did design this boat. Comes in two sizes, it's got the 12 foot and the 13 and a half foot. Um, they retail for $37.99 for the 120 and $39.99 for the 136. So for under $4,000 you have a killer tournament and serious angling machine and you don't have to do the workout yeah you don't it there's so many people out there that are trying to affix bow mounted trolling motors to the bow of their kayaks and it's it, you don't have to do this diy business we've done the work for you and it's right off the shelf ready to go for you without having to invest all that time and money retrofitting your kayak to, to do what, what this does so well. It's integrated, everything is ready to go. All you have to do is plug in the battery and then bring the, the motor down and up. It's super easy. You don't even have to align any prop or anything like that. 
you don't have to get your bulky front bow front uh, what is a bow mounted trolling motor awesome thanks so much it's always a pleasure uh am i supposed to say something i don't know uh, oh, oh you're welcome <laughs> And uh, make sure you subscribe to this guy's uh, YouTube channel and come check us Got out. Got a better idea. Look, you don't have to subscribe, but watch every single one of my videos. All of them. All of them. Like one person, if they do that, they would lose maybe 10 years of their life. Well, so how many, how many minutes of, of content do you have? Do you know? No, I don't know, but that would be a good idea. Because I have like six, almost 600 videos published, and let's say the average is seven minutes. How much is that? I don't know. Google knows. <laughs> See, like, um, you don't have to know everything, you just need to know how you could get the answer. Right, exactly. So, 7 times 600, that's 4,200 minutes divided by 60, that's 70 hours. 70 hours. So, you could quite literally... Three days. Just three days. Three days, or a uh, one and a half work weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Watching so, my videos. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I, I take some time at work to watch your videos. What? I thought you did that already. I do. Yeah. Oh, see, I love your see stuff, the, 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 I've been a subscriber for a long time. I'm a fan of your stuff. You do a good job. So, nice. thank you so much. And you live in a beautiful state, man. It's been a lot of fun it's spending far, some yeah. time with you down here. That's an amazing place. But, yeah. All right, buddy. We'll All see right. you soon. See ya. Okay. I think you got some usable stuff in there. Um, probably a second. Okay.